Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about the female reproductive system. Uh, this system has three specific functions. The first one, it produces the eggs. Second one, it produces also two hormones, very important hormones, the estrogen and the progesterone. And finally, nourish a, de a developing baby until birth. The organs that forms this system includes the ovaries, fallopian tubes, the uterus, and the vagina, four total. Let's talk about each one of them. First, the ovaries. They are the female reproductive structures that produce the eggs. They are located slightly below the waist. As you can see here on this picture, okay? There are two, one located slightly below, one on the left and one on the right. Each one on each side of the body. There are endocrine glands that also produce two hormones, the estrogen and the progesterone. From these two hormones produced by the ovaries, one of the most important is the estrogen, which triggers the development of some adult female characteristics for example, it causes the breast to develop and the hips to widen. And also, another function, it is involved in the development of egg cells. Each month, one of the ovaries releases a mature egg into the nearest fallopian tube, according to this picture. So the second organs that I have to talk about are the fallopian tubes. They are two, one left and one right. I want you to see this picture, one on the left, one on the right. They are also called oviducts or uterine tubes. They are passageways that an egg travels from an ovary to the, to the uterus. Fertilization usually occurs inside of the fallopian tubes right after the ovulation. Inside of them, you can see according to this picture, there are a lot of hair-like little projections, which are called cilia, which help move the egg from the ovary to the uterus. The third organ of the female reproductive system is the uterus. We have a picture here, as you can see, all right? It's just one right at the middle. It is a hollow and muscular organ. It is about the size and shape of an upside down pier. It is held in place by ligaments, very strong ligaments, one on, on each side. Its main function is to hold and nourish a developing fetus. If an egg has been fertilized inside of the fallopian tubes, it attaches to the wall of the uterus. An unfertilized egg breaks down in the uterus and then it leaves through the cervix, an opening at the base of the uterus. Then the egg enters the vagina. The uterus has three layers. Going from the inside to the outside, we have the first one is the endometrium. Then the middle one is the myometrium and the outer, the outside part is the perimetrium. Finally, we have the last organ of the female reproductive system, which is the vagina. I want you to observe this picture here. The vagina is the last part of the female reproductive system, all the way down. This is a muscular passageway leading to the outside of the body. It is about eight to 10 centimeters long. It is a very flexible organ. The vagina or birth canal is the passageway through which a baby lifts its mother's body during childbirth. It has three walls, okay? Going from the inside to the outside, the first wall is a mucous membrane. The middle layer is muscular and the outer layer forms like a covering.